In this video, I show you how I went from this to this without sacrificing productivity, coming up. What is going on everybody? Welcome to the channel and of course another tech tip video. If you're familiar with this channel, you'll know that I had a triple monitor set up not too long ago that consisted of three 1080p 24 inch screens. Now not only did that give me a ton of physical real estate, but the problem is it started to become overcrowded. It started feeling too complex and it was just very distracting. So what I wanted to do is go for that minimalistic design, ended up selling off the triple monitor setup and settling on a single 37 inch ultra wide. Now of course the problem with doing that is I lost lost a lot of that real estate and I wanted a way to recover some of that back. So today I'm going to show you how to use the Windows 10 virtual desktop feature that allows me to keep my productivity up and stay organized even though I went from three screens all the way down to a single screen. Before we get started you will need to have a computer that does have the Windows 10 operating system as this feature was a new feature that came with Windows 10. Now before we get started as you can see I've got a couple different windows up here. We've got a Microsoft Edge, I've got a Downloads and then also a this PC Explorer window and we're going to use these windows to kind of show you how to move them around between the virtual desktops but also how a couple different ways on how to create the virtual desktops themselves. So the first thing that we're going to do is you're going to want to come on down to your taskbar here and you're going to want to look for something that says task view with this little icon right here it says task view when you hover over it and you're going to left click on it. You can also do the same thing by holding and pressing the windows logo and the tab at the same time and that's going to bring up the task view window. Now from here, you can see that we've got these three windows that we had open before, and we've also got a timeline of all of the different apps or anything that you may have had in the past. But the main focus that we're gonna be looking at today is up in the top left-hand corner. Now, there's a couple different ways that you can go about creating a virtual desktop. First and foremost, you can left-click on new desktop and it's going to create a new desktop as you saw right there. And then if we go back to the desktop with all of the windows on it, we can also click and hold one of these windows and drag it over the new desktop icon and that's going to create a new virtual desktop but also move that particular program or window to that specific virtual desktop. And now you can see as you flip through them, you've got a couple different options on there. Now, there's also a couple different ways to move these windows around on these desktops and coming up in the new 20H1 or the spring update, we're gonna have the ability to rename the virtual desktops making the organization level that much better. So what you can do is if you have a window and you say we wanna move this downloads folder from desktop one over to desktop two, you can left click and hold it. And as you can see, you can kind of drag it around and then you can just release, move it up to desktop two and then release. What that's going to do is it's then going to move that window to the virtual desktop number two. Another option that you can do is if you right click on a program or a window, you can snap left, snap right, move to and then if you hover over that it will give you a menu of all of the different types of desktops that you have currently up on the top here so if we hover over move uh, move to again you can see we've got desktop two desktop three and then we could also create a new desktop with it if we wanted to you can also show this window on all of des the desktops which is going to open up a window or it's going to open this up on all of the desktops show windows from this app on all of the desktops and then of course you've got close so you've got a few different options on here so for today's demo we're just going to go ahead and click on move to and let's go ahead and click on desktop three and you can see that it moved that window from desktop one over to desktop three this will essentially allow you to move your windows and your programs to any of the desktops that you need to organize them any way that you would like now after you have all your programs or your windows organized the way that you want i'm now going to show you a keyboard shortcut that will allow you to swap between all of those desktops. To do this, you're going to press and hold the Windows logo key and the control key or the CTR L key at the same time and continue to hold those down. And then we're going to hit the left or right arrow keys and be able to swap between the desktops very quickly. Now you'll notice right here that the background is the same, so there's very minimal change, but we do have individual windows open up on each desktop to kind of show you the difference. So if we go left, we're all the way on desktop one. If we hit the right arrow key a couple times, you'll see we're at the desktop two, which has the downloads folder. And then if we hit it one more time, it'll go to desktop three, which has the Microsoft Edge folder on it as well. And then you can go back by hitting the left key a couple times. And as you can see, using that key combination will allow you to swap 
between the desktops very quickly. So we've gone through, I've showed you how to create the virtual desktop, but what about if you no longer need or want it? How do you go about deleting it? To delete a virtual desktop, what we're gonna want to do is go back into the task view by either doing the Windows key tab key combo or clicking on the icon down here under task view. This will bring us into the task view and if you hover over each desktop, you'll notice a little X in the top right hand corner area. Once you click on that X, it's not only going to delete that virtual desktop, but it's gonna move any of the windows that you had open or programs that you've had open, it's gonna move it to the desktop immediately to its left. So if we close number three, you'll notice that it moved the windows of this PC file explorer window over to desktop two. And then if we close out desktop two as well, it's gonna move the Microsoft Edge and the this PC window over to desktop one. So if I go ahead and click on that, you'll see that the virtual desktops have went away on the top just because we only have the one at this point. And you've got downloads, Microsoft Edge, and this PC all on desktop one because we deleted the other virtual desktops. Now for me, it did take some time to get used to, but now that I'm used to it, I do feel more organized, even if I'm flipping through a bunch of different windows or programs. Not only that, the focus has been increased as well, as I don't have this giant monitor frame in front of me, it's just a simple, single, and elegant monitor taking care of all the work. So if you're somebody that is in a small space and you don't have the room for multiple monitors or you're using a laptop, I would highly suggest using the virtual desktops to see if that will increase your productivity. That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope each and every one of you got something out of it. Now, of course, that does bring us to our question of the day. How do you feel about virtual desktops replacing your monitors? Leave your answers in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and enable the bell so you guys don't miss out on any type of future content and we will see you on the next one.